morning it is saturday today and after a lovely lion until about nine o'clock uh mum brought me a cup of tea and we've been both been very very productive since then she's blitzed the whole rest of the house i've blitzed my room did a little shake and vac got my bed sheets on the line um honestly the amount of hair that i have hoovered up it's a surprise that I've got any on my head. I just can't comprehend how much hair is falling out of my head. Honestly, I don't, I, it's always been the case. It's not something that I'm worrying about, but this morning it was just extra hairy in my room, which is pretty gross. We're about to leave to head off to go and play squash. I haven't played squash since before lockdown. Um, Mum's played a couple of times, but I'm looking forward to being back on the court um, and giving her a good game. I'm wearing my Yui squash skirt, which um, I don't usually like to wear because I think if people walk around the back of the courts, which they often do, they can watch from above the squash courts, um, they might see that I was in, in a, a squash team and think that I'm gonna be good. Oh no, no, they would be mistaken. Uh, so I don't usually wear it, but I thought today I'd, I'd bring out the skirt in the hopes that maybe I could channel some of my past self and be better at playing today. I also need to pop to the post office because a few weekends ago I was just having a little bit of fun making some collages and I made this kind of Elton John quote collage that says um, it's just my job five days a week. I didn't really think it would sell but I put it on Etsy anyway and I was really pleased that yesterday um, it sold and not only did it sell, it sold to someone in New Orleans which is one of uh, the top places on my list of places I want to go and visit. Um, so chuffed with that, so I need to go to the post office this morning and post that. And then after squash, mum and I might go for a little swim in the sea. I just heard her asking me from downstairs, although we haven't really discussed it yet, so we'll have to wait and see. I have officially survived two weeks at my new job. I'm absolutely loving it. I did worry that having not been in the classroom since March, I was going to really struggle to kind of get up early in the mornings again and have kind of the full working time routine. But I haven't felt that at all. I haven't struggled in terms of like exhaustion mentally or physically. And I've just, I've absolutely loved it. Um, yeah it's been great the only downside is that now I'm back in the classroom full of because I'm because I'm a, a DT teacher um, I've got workbenches with vices on the side and vice is like a big wooden block on the side of a table with a big metal handle and the thing is I keep walking into the vices around my classroom while I'm trying to kind of get around and see all the students um, so here's what my size looking like <laughs> Uh, which is not really ideal, <laughs> so I need to start being a bit more careful about where I walk. <laughs> right, I think it's squash time, let's go. Ready for me to whoop your Something like a correspondent lady. <laughs> To the letter centre! Two games to one. Mum was on a roll today. But I didn't play badly, did I? Maybe. Considering I haven't had any breakfast. Are we playing again or are we done? Yeah, two games again. No, one more. One more. What if you draw? Well, then we'll play three. <laughs> All done. We played five games. Mum won three to two. But Championi, championi. I'll have you know it was very close. Life in the old girl yet. <laughs> Just done a little Sainsbury's haul. We're having duck breast for dinner tonight with dolphin moire potatoes, green beans, wherever they are. I've been having my bacon crispies. I could eat a family bag of these or two a day. I love them, especially when they've got all the flavour on them. Mm -mm. We've decided that before we have showers and wash our hair, we're going to whip down to either Hove or Lansing and go for a quick sea swim. It's not very warm today. I'm not really feeling it, but I'm sure by the time I get down there, I'll have no choice. Are we going to go to home or Lansing? Lansing. Okay, Lansing. It, the sea felt warmer in Lansing than in Hove last time <laughs> I went. <laughs> it's very high tide and nobody else is in the water, which we don't like, do we? We are out of the sea, if you can hear me. It was cold, but it wasn't as bad as we were expecting. There was just a very strong pull. So 
so we had to work hard to stay where we were. It's good. It's good. We do like a sea swim. It's quarter past three and we've just got back from our swim in Lansing. Oh, I feel I do feel cozy. I'm glad that I took a fleece with me because I do feel quite nice and cozy now. But it's time for guac and chips, a shower, a hair wash, and to snuggle down for the afternoon, probably in the lounge watching something terrible on TV. And that will be a perfect Saturday afternoon for me. Dinner is well underway. Our dolphin was are in the oven and we're about to put the duck breasts on. Craig's just got back from Leeds. He went to drop off his son James uh, to university last night. Um, so we've just been catching up on that and it's made me feel all nostalgic and miss uni, even though I am still at uni, but miss being a fresher times two. Yeah, that was all. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do your hair again. Has it? It keeps going a little bit orange. Oh. I've only got one box left. Oh, well, let's get two and we'll put two on and we'll do it good again, okay? Yeah, I'm going to leave it on for longer this time. Dinner is served. And fun fact, this is actually my dying meal. So, very pink, nice duck breast, dolphin more potatoes and green beans with black cherry gravy. Oh, the best. It is time for bed. I had a very nice relaxing day and I feel like it's been a long day as well, which is nice for the weekend. Tomorrow I'm heading up to London. Lottie and I are going pottery painting in Fulham. I'm looking forward to going up to London and doing something a bit different than usual. Thanks for watching. Good night. Good morning. It is Sunday today. I've woken up in a fantastic mood. Um, I had a great night's sleep and I, I don't feel like Oh, getting out of bed, oh, like I usually do. I just kind of sprung out of bed this morning. So we're off to a good start. It's gonna be really nice weather today, which I think helps. I'm heading up to London, um, I'm going to Clapham Junction, and then I'm going to Fulham Road to meet Lottie. We are going pottery painting at a pottery painting, painting cafe. Um, and afterwards we're gonna go for some lunch. Um, at the moment I have no idea what I'm gonna paint. Uh, while I'm on the train, I'm gonna have a little look at some inspiration, maybe on Pinterest. My arm is so achy this morning from squash. I mean, it usually is when I play squash anyway, but because I haven't played in so long, it's extra achy this morning. So I might paint my pot with my left arm. Um, right, I'm gonna go and have some breakfast and then I think I might cycle down to the station today. My train's in about an hour. Elliot bought me this really cute Carhartt um, pouch as my graduation present or as my starting a new job present. And I really like it. and I have been the absolute worst at documenting my day today. I just had such a nice day in London in the sun with Lottie, just catching up. We hadn't seen each other um, in quite a while, so we had quite a lot to catch up on. Um, and sometimes in those cases, I just forget to film or it's not important to me in the moment. But we've had a really nice day. I really like the bowl that I painted and I can't wait to see it. Uh, Lottie's gonna go and pick them up in within the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I'll have to go and see her again to go and pick it up myself. But I'm really, really excited to see how that turns out. But I'm home now. Everybody else is over at Lou and Dan's watching football, but I didn't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna sit out in the garden for a while until the sun goes in. I'm gonna have a little look on Right Move, see if there's any updates on there that I need to know about. It's very hot today. It's very, very warm. I just cycled back from the station, so I'm very hot. 
and I'm just gonna have a very chilled Sunday afternoon. I think that's the plan. I'm gonna roast some vegetables to have for my lunch tomorrow and probably have a bowl of fries for dinner. I'm really into French fries at the moment. I get them from work and, uh, and shove them in the oven. It's a terrible diet, but I just really love fries and mayo. I've just emailed Elliot eight houses. It's funny, so our requirements at the moment is that I need to be able to drive to work within 40 minutes. Elliot needs to be near enough to a station to walk or cycle to the station to be able to get into London. Um, I want parking, he wants a garden, he doesn't like eaves because he's quite tall. Um, I, and he wants a big enough space for a bath in a bathroom, whereas I'm not fussed about not having a bath or the eaves. Uh, we quite like wooden floors and we want kind of like a character property rather than a new build. I mean, wish us luck. <laughs> We're not fussy or anything. <laughs> we got some roasted veggies for my lunch tomorrow. Yum, yum, yum. Delish. And we got some chippies for my dinner today. Yum, yum, yum. Delish. <laughs> I want to watch the musical In the Heights, but I can't find like a stream for it. Like it's not on Netflix, it's not on Disney Plus. In the Heights, yeah. Oh, maybe it's not out yet. Oh, it's coming out in 2021. Shame. I thought that was already an existing thing. Rats. And good night.